welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Naya Feather. All right, so this is this is gonna be something different. So I have not played Father of the Redeemed yet, and I've been wanting to play it so much. And we had a donation to uh, there's a donation for me to build a feather deck, and so this is what I'm coming up with. So. Of course, y'all probably know Feather the Redeemed, right? It's the new 3-mana three 3-4 three, flying angel that whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets any creature you control at the end of turn, basically you put it back in your hand. And you don't put it in your gra graveyard at the end of turn. Basically, that's what happens. So we've seen like some Boros Feather decks uh, being pretty popular. Some people are playing Jeskai, trying to play Dive Down with a card and everything. But I feel like those decks are just, like, I haven't been very Im impressed playing against those decks at all. I feel like they're just way too far in. Like, they're they're too all in on Feather. And they have so many of these, like, crappy spells in their deck um, that, like, they need Feather or 10th District Legionnaire or something like that in play. And, like, against, like, some removal, it just, it just kind of falls apart. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it here with... Uh, in a Naya shell, with a hero, make it a Hero of Precinct 1 deck also, and kind of focus on Hero of Precinct 1 with all of these extra spells, and just have like Feather as being some part of something that we can have. I have uh, 11 spells <clears throat> in the deck with Feather. We got the four Integrities that can help our creatures, oh hey, hey Hawkeye, help our creatures like survive burn spells and stuff, um, or you know, if if our if we don't need like the plus two plus two, we can also just go upstairs with intervention. We got th three collision to either kill flyers or mostly for the colossus part, given our creatures plus four plus two and trample, which putting that back in your hand over and over is pretty nice. And then we also have our removal spell thrash threat, <clears throat> where th thrash is instant speed, uh, deal damage to a creature or planeswalker, so we can deal damage to planeswalkers also. Or if we don't, if we don't really need the thrash part, or if we're playing against a removal heavy deck, uh, that we can also use the threat part. So, um, <laughs> so, so that's what that's what we got going on here. And then yeah, yeah, we're a hero precinct one deck. We're an aggro deck. We got spell break. We got a lot of haste in here too to like a attack planeswalkers. We got spellbreaker, Tajik, and tenth district legionnaire that all have haste. Swiftblade vindicator is a card that I I've always felt is pretty p powerful. I only got two in here. It's not good against, like, Chain Wheeler and stuff. But if you can pump up this power with things like Integrity or Colossus or, like, Domri uh, increases the power with the plus one. Tajik with the Mentor. Aurelia with the Mentor and the, the plus ability. Ajani, of course, pump out the power. I feel like we have a lot of ways to make this Vindicator a, a huge threat. Um, and then we have Domri that also does some fighting. Uh, makes our creatures a little bigger. I think I like Domri's... The first part of Domri, creatures you control get plus one, plus one with Hero of Precinct one. If, you know, if we make like a few tokens that are just like these crappy one, one tokens, we can at least make them two, one tokens to make them better attacking. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'm not I'm not playing cards like Reckless Rage. I'm not playing cards that are like really, really good with Feather, but like not not that great. Otherwise, we're just trying to play like all solid cards uh, like these these multi these multi card or whatever like these dual cards all have like a good use like with one of the two modes just in like your normal game of magic and then just if you have feather then it could be pretty sweet um to be able to keep putting them back and, and so on but it's not like it's not like we need feather or something we're not reliant on it uh so that's that's our that's our game plan i haven't really played this deck too much yet you know just kind of built it and we're going to just throw it right to the fire and see how it how it holds up. Um, you think Shalai deserves a spot here? Shalai's cool. Over like an Aurelia or an Ajani. I don't know. This was uh, Crazy Pyro, just kind of <laughs> Crazy Pyro. Just like uh, <laughs> he made two donations. This was honestly like oh, 10, 10 days or two weeks ago. So we're gonna go to the traditional constructed cues with this with it being like a new brew here and just and kind of test it out here in these waters but anyway he just made a couple of donation decks where he was just like all right first person to say say a deck that's the deck that i'm donating for and somebody just said feather and so we had a so donate for a feather deck and so that's what uh, i built here was this feather deck
Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit of land. We got two of our, like, four or five. I think maybe five. Um, four, four drops. Okay, got the land. Yeah, there you go, Keds. The, you can find the list in, in there on my Stream Decker page. Blue Red Deck. Lava Coil. Lava Coil is mean because it exiles. So I don't get to minus two and bring it back. There's a lot of, yeah, like Shalai, the other, the other four mana, Johnny, the new one. There's a lot of, like, good cards that we could play, but, you know, we don't get to play everything, unfortunately. But there are a, good, a lot of good cards we could play. Alright, Feather gets countered. But this is the kind of deck that we can just, like, throw Feather out there with three mana and not have to worry about, like... Okay, well, we need to have four mana. We need to set up Feather plus Protection and all that kind of stuff where you're just, like, just a little too slow. Whoa. Talk about rude. Taking my hero, Precinct 1. Yeah, more like the traitor of Precinct 1. <laughs> I am proud to fight. By you can still fight. Yeah, you can you can still fight, hero. Come on back. It's all good, Shekel. Thanks for trying. You you are amazing. Hopefully tomorrow works. Did you try going through like the link here? Sometimes that works. Ugh. All this, all this removal, just all this hatred of permanence best. from the opponent. What can you do against such hatred? I don't remember Aragorn's, uh, Aragorn, Aragorn, Aragorn? Oh my gosh. Which one was it, Aragorn? Yeah, it's gotta be Aragorn, not Aragorn, right? Anyway, I don't remember his exact line. Oh, he didn't even say it either. It wasn't even him, it was the king. Aragorn. Aragorn is in Spain. They probably don't have instant speed removal, right? So I could put this on here and go for lethal. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my line. I don't think they'll have instant speed removal after all the removal they've already used. Going for lethal. All right. Aragorn. I guess it's been a while since I've seen those movies, but that that quote was in like the two towers of like what can what can man do against such hatred or something like that. Yeah, we worked through all that removal cuz we're not we're not just strictly playing spells that are good. Uh, do we need Rhythm of the Wild? Probably not. I'm not sure if we need all these Thrash Threats. I don't really know what's going on with our opponent's deck. Like, they had the Viachino Pyromancer? Like what, like, what's up with that? They're just like a blue-red burn deck?
I don't know. I'm gonna keep it the same. <laughs> yeah, we're rocking a pair of Swift Blade Vindicators. Aragorn, son of Arathorn. This deck's pretty cool. These thrash threats are sweet. We could play these too often. Look at that thread art. Is that little Dom is that like Domri on a on a beast? Domri's so small. Is that Domri? He's so small. Yeah, the Arbor deck deck's good. The new rage right now is the four color command deck that I just played. We're we're four one only lost a mirror. The problem that's a that's kind of a problem with this for the uh, Selesnya Arcbow deck because the Selesnya Arcbow deck has a pretty tough matchup against that four color command deck. That was one of our three losses, and then the other two were just against Model Red, which is a little bit of an anomaly. Big spellbreaker. Oh, that's true. Domri on the Soul Diviner art. That's true. Yes, Domri's so small. What was the what was that quote of the king of Rohan? Yeah, the king of Rohan said like before um like at the end of the two ta yeah, the end of the two towers before that battle. We need double white for feather. I kind of consider just playing nothing, but yeah. I think it started with like, where is the horse and the rider? Something like that. Man, it's been too long since I've seen the movie. I have a group of friends that every J January 1st, the new year, what they do on New Year's Day is they get together and watch the three Lord of the Rings movies. They do every year. Okay, so that's that's it right there. Yeah, they must have like more bane fires and stuff. Okay, so that that one doesn't have the like what do people do or what do you do against such utter hatred? But yeah, where where now the horse and the rider? Where is the horn that was blowing? Where is the helm and the har hauberk and the bright hair flowing? Where is the hand on the harp spring and the red fire glowing? Where is the spring and the harvest and the tall corn growing? That pass like rain on the mountain, like wind in the meadow. I'm getting all them bane fires in. Ow. That'll light up the stage. <laughs> no! 
No. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. But that's still only three damage. No. Okay. I have to make a bolt seven. Seven, seven. Okay, yeah, so that's Theoden. He goes, so much hate. What can men do against such reckless hate? That's it. What can what can men do against such reckless hate? That's what was, that was our opponent that last game, just burning all my stuff. Arag Aragorn says, ride out with me. Ride out and meet him. And Theoden says, for death and glory. All right, game number two. Match number two. Game number three, I guess, technically. It's not the fastest hand. I think Aurelia is better than Shalai. Like the mentor, like pumping up, like spellbreaker and stuff. I think it really is better than Shalai. Hey, okay. Boom. Are you okay, boy? Haste. I'm liking this deck though. This is this deck's pretty fun. Do you think our opponent really liked candy bars? It's probably the payday that they're talking about, right? Is the candy bar? Excellent timing. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, you think? This is hardly my worst defeat. <laughs> Deputy. Get out of here, deputy. Man, see? Feathers is great. This deck's great. Teferi. I am not going to sit this one out. Alright, so how dead is you opponent? Need to slow down. Time. So even if they have a sweeper, <clears throat> I guess maybe I should have, actually I probably should have just cast the integrity on the legionnaire the last turn, 
deal three and make a one one. But yeah, they did. Hmm. Feast. Okay. So they have a bunch of small creatures. We could, could definitely Clarion. They're like a hero deck also. I don't know. May not need to. This deck's pretty cool. Man, we got we already have like good removal collision for thief. We have collisions and thrashes. I don't know about good removal, but we got removal. We got Domri. I don't even know if we do anything. I guess Clarion. Would we want rhythm? Why do we want rhythm? I don't think we want rhythm. No, I don't think so. I could see Clarion. I don't really know what over, though. I like the cards that we have. Maybe 10th District Legionnaire. We we can already kill Teferi fast. We have haste, haste, haste. I think Vindicator could be really important if, you know, the, the game gets clogged up and everything. No, I, I guess they're maybe playing Absorb. Aurelia, I'd take out one Aurelia for a Clarion. I don't really want to take out Tajik. You know, that would kind of be like the slot because like this match, like the Tajik haste against the Planeswalkers is important and plus Tajik can, pre can prevent all the Clarion from killing my creatures. Uh, we need white mana. Yeah, I do like how I do like how much haste we do have in the deck, with things like yeah, like tenth district, real good against baby Teferi as we saw like that game and and yeah, we have spellbreakers and Tajiks also. Ooh, no removal. Dead. I'm not risking it by playing like feather and then they kill my feather and then get a thief hit in and all that kind of stuff. Not risking it. Maybe we're risking it now. Oh, why am I? I didn't mean to attack with the 1-1. One, one. Dang it. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, Thrash is not even a fight spell. It just deals damage to creatures and planeswalkers. It's pretty sweet. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Maybe we should have just played Spellbreaker last turn, honestly. I wish I didn't attack with that 1-1 one, one last turn. No land pass? Sure.
Yeah, like the the spellbreaker makes me like start really pressuring their life total a lot more and and doesn't like takes it takes away like how good Thief of Sanity is if you're taking a lot of damage. 14, that's what I'm just doing here. I'm going aggro. That's our deck. We're aggro. Let's go. I should have done that last turn. And I also should have another 1-1. One, one. Could have been an 8 with another extra 1-1. One, one. So they saw 2 lands and something, and then 2 lands and something. Oh, that's pretty good against my plan of going aggro. That helps st them stop stuff. Oh, that's I really good. To you away. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Two cards left. Hmm. Do I play Feather now? No. So I think I would have won this if I was more well like if I lose it's because I wasn't aggressive enough earlier I'm not finished with you not with the feather line All right, they went land, land, and then another spell. So every single time it's been two lands and then something. So there's a good chance that they've hit three land pockets in some of those. I'm going with the Johnny over Aurelia so we can split up. Our kinship I guess our this victory. thing has hexproof. This thing has hexproof. Oh, I should have just gone with Aurelia. Let's see if they kill both of these things. <laughs> Play too fast. Sometimes at the end of the night, start playing a little faster. After you uh, playing for, I guess what it's been now, six and a half hours here for us today. All right, well, couldn't handle it. Dude, this deck is nice. We have had a lot of early Hero of Precinct ones. Hexproof is only opponent spells. I just put the counters on the other two creatures to make it make them both two power, but yeah, I could have played Aurelia and then had Aurelia pump the Spellbreaker and make the Spellbreaker five power Hexproof. Draw a land, please. No. I thought it was 
Ugh, no. I thought I was free against Basic Island. I thought I was going to stick around. This is a great feather hand. These things. Yeah, it looks like Phoenix or Drake's. Hoping no more lava coils. It's possible I should just slam down Tajik first, but the thing is Tajik dies to shock. Okay. Does this get plus one plus one? Pump it up. Kill the Drake. Boom. Give me my spells back. Now I don't have to worry about Lava Coil. They gotta have. They gotta have dive down now, right? Maybe draw land again. Can I get lucky? Land again? Wow, we're so lucky. Uh, you. Pump it up. Kill the Drake. Instant. Thank you. Yeah, here, Drake. I don't see you crackling up over there now. This deck's awesome. See, this is the kind of feather deck that I can get behind. We we have like some cool things to do with feather, but we're not just like a a feather deck. You know, we have all sorts of other things. Yeah. No, my feather. Yeah, it doesn't have to resolve. It just once it targets, you get it back. They have a shock. I guess I should probably just 4 4 this for like more Drakes. So we have more Thrashes. Yeah, now, yeah, we, we can't just make a bunch of 4 4s. Like maybe, maybe I should just like play like one thread as a 4 4 kind of thing. I wonder if their plan is like to shock the Spellbreaker that has Hexproof. I wonder if that was their plan with that block. I think it was. Oh, they're hovering the, hexproof, the Spellbreaker there. Hmm. Yep. Hopefully not another... <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Um, lots of options here. Lasso options.
Oh, so the official ruling is that since the spell didn't resolve, it shouldn't come back? Oh, wait, no, I guess... No, Thrash still resolved, though, because it still had a target. It targeted... Yeah, so never, the, the spell still resolved. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting that. So I went to Integrity the Tajik so I could mentor onto the Spellbreaker, make it four power, make him like make it, basically make it so we were attacking for nine there. That didn't that didn't work. Yeah, now the Tajik just gets shocked. All right, well that didn't work. I'll get it, getting kind of punished because I should have just made a four four, uh, the turn I played the spellbreaker, or at least make the spellbreaker a four four. But I think we're gonna be fine. I think. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Just no blocks. All right, so we'll have, we have Intervention that can deal three next turn. So hopefully no haste on this Crackling Drake. Oh, but then they get to copy. Shit. Uh-oh. Actually, we could be dead. Dang it, I messed this game up. Ugh, I messed this one up. But yeah, that's their fourth Drake. Drew them all. <laughs> Bleh. All right. Well, it's basically be the whole the turn I did wrong, the one turn I did wrong that whole game that just cost me that game was the spellbreaker when I made it the 3-3 three, three, cuz then they had two more drakes after that and I needed them I needed the spellbreaker to be 4-4. Four, four. Um, they had already had two drakes. I, don't, I went haste. That's that's the game. That's the turn I messed up. I don't mind the Tajik turn, honestly. I don't. I don't really regret that, because that was going to get my spellbreaker back to being a four four. And put another threat on the on the battlefield. And if if they didn't have that spell pierce there, if they just had dive down, not spell pierce, we would have been looking good. It's the fact they had spell pierce, not dive down. The spell pierce killed me, but like, I, I don't regret that turn at all. I would I'd do that line again. It was it was this the spellbreaker making a three three turn cost me. All right. Anyway, Cinder Vines is definitely not coming in. While well, Tajuk does prevent non-combat damage, ugh, sorry to other people, I really don't like how it's two toughness for three mana against the shock deck. So you see it dying to shock. So I'm going to take out Tajik here. And a Johnny, we don't really protect protect a Johnny or anything. So Johnny's gonna also going to be coming out. So that leaves me that leaves me with one more card. Knight of Autumn being 4-3 is not bad. 
Clarion can actually be kind of nice for like the um, for the lifelink effect, but I think I want to go rhythm. Yeah, I, I want a rhythm in in this matchup. I want to get bigger, haster creatures. Yeah, I could have led with collision. That's true. It did play around spell pierce, but I just I just assumed they had dive down, right? So that's why I didn't go. I was just thinking dive down. That's that's where I was thinking. Oh, you're welcome, Wiki. Thanks for the kind words, saying I, I love that you always take the time to look professional on stream. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, happy to. And I, I know I don't play perfectly. I mean, I, it's really hard to play perfectly while streaming and everything. I don't. Definitely make mistakes and stuff. And like that Spellbreaker was a mistake. I don't have Dubs White for Feather. So we're going 4-4 four, four Spellbreaker this time. Okay, there's Dubs White. Even if they have coil, we got to back up. Which, of course, they have. Of course, they have coil. I did not use Diviner consistently, but I liked the list still over like regular Grixis control. It just kind of has like another uh, axes that the deck's kind of operating on, and it's not just all like removal and planeswalkers. And and I, I liked it. I thought I I enjoyed playing the deck. I but again, I admittedly didn't use the Diviner or the Cura too much, and I would I need more than like the five matches with it, but. Yeah, I liked what was going on. Yeah, put the R next to the decks whenever we play them in ranked. So I guess they got dive down. They'll turn their creature into a 4-7. Oh, shock me? And there's into a 4-4. Four, four. So we'll get that trample damage in. Get our integrity back. But now our feather does die to a coil. Um, but they've already used a coil. They have four cards. I don't think that was a punt from them. I mean, I guess they could have... Shocked my feather, but they're expecting like the trade and everything. All right, let's go. Haste. Pump up Aurelia, have Aurelia mentor. Integrity's cool.
Uh, yeah, shock on feather would have killed feather, but I guess they were they were just thinking it was gonna trade without the integrity. But yeah, shock on feather would have killed feather. I guess they just because like the thing is if they cast shock on feather, then I just don't have to cast integrity, right? Then I just get the two for one. I guess integrity just comes back to my hand either way. Uh, anything else to do? No, well, that seemed like it worked pretty well. So we should have this match. So if we lose, if we lose this game three, then we can point to like the game one, the decision to make the spellbreaker a three three and and try to go in for the damage whenever our opponent drew more drakes and the three power really hurt. <laughs> yeah, this deck's sweet. We've we've had like pretty good mana and everything. We've been drawn well. Why would I have to say something? Okay, okay. Uh, two double tap land. Yes, Temple Garden's good. Gives me that double white also in case we get a feather. So leading with 10th District Legionnaire right now doesn't make a ton of sense because they're just a deck full of shocks and everything. I think we can wait a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. You. Yeah, get that out of here. And then I'll just play this, so basically we don't have to worry about shock at all. Our creatures will be 3-3s three with haste. Okay. 1-1 one, one counter. One one counter. There's no way they block. No way they block. <laughs> wow. They found the line. I, I thought for sure they were taking that there. <laughs> I'm just, just joshing with you. Oh, I do need to get the... Where's our thumbnail here? No, my hero. All I need is a hero. Is this that called Naya Feather? Get the scry. Stop drawing lands. Stop drawing lands, please. A shock does not kill my 10th district tenth district legionnaire still. Because a shock would make the would be two damage, make the Enigma, Enigma Drake two also. Love it. So four total. The Legionnaire is six, so. Yeah, the Rhythm of the Wild's pretty cool. Give this Aurelia haste next turn. Whew. Aurelia with haste that then mentors onto this 3-3. Three, three. Pretty sweet. Oh, and they've had the shocks. Wow, look at look at the Rhythm of the Wild getting rid of these shocks. Like these Legionnaires would have got shocked and it would have been annoying. All right, so Terry Mander only has three spells right now. <laughs> Poor little Terry Mander. 
trades with the low one. one. Cracklin Drake. Oh, right. I could have done Haste Hero. I don't even know if I want Haste Hero. I don't really want to. No, I don't really want Haste Hero. Um, no, nah, yeah, I don't want Haste Hero. Because we want it to be a 3-3, and the next turn, Aurelia mentors onto it, makes it a 4-4. Four, four. This Naya Feather deck might be for real. So it would be Drake's, Esper Midrange, some other deck. Oh, yeah, the first deck was like this not so great deck. This was actually my list that I put together. I was just. I was t told to build a Feather deck, and so this is what I put together. <laughs> Realer than four color con command? No, probably not. No. But. Yeah, like a, a real deck, though. I don't know of a Rhythm Proliferate deck. I haven't seen one. Chandra's kicking butt here, too. Good avatar for this deck. Submerged Boneyard. Rude. I'm getting like the scry and the damage in right now with this thing. So good scry sent a land to the bottom. Oh man. If we get to untap and like if they just like play some random thing and tap out that doesn't kill Vindicator. No, oh, that kills an indicator. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Why couldn't they just play like a Thief of Sanity last turn? They would have just been dead. We can't play instant speed stuff, so. No reason to like shock in there. Riot Veil! This Twitch stream and YouTube channel is for real. I'll tell you that for Don't free. Worry. Thanks for the professional this. insight into MTG best in the business. Well, thank you so much, Riot Vale. Right on schedule. No, don't talk. Draw a card. Come on. Reverse. Okay. I know I could intervention and like kill the Teferi, but. We're gonna do this instead. Work to do. do this to kill Teferi. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. <laughs> no, it's, it's, those plays are just rem reminiscent of a or indic. Here goes nothing. Uh, in indic. 
indicative. Indicative? There you go. That's the word. Indicative. He said, uh, "Those are indicative of a person that's rightfully scared of uh, Swift Blade Vindicator." That card. Still need you. We will meet again. Yep. Oh, this thing gives gives trample, doesn't it? Crap, I forgot about the trample. Wait, so then did I did I have lethal there? So it'd been two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Would have been able to put them down to one even if they double blocked. That doesn't kill them though. And then they would have hostage taker my thing and I'd be all out of stuff. I think it would have been 10, right? A 10 8? Trampler? Because it would have been 2, and then 4, and then 8, and then getting the counter for both of those, yeah, it would have been 10. They would have had 3 toughness. I would have had to do it all at sorcery speed, though, because that's stupid to fairy. Man, they had so much removal. So much removal. Liliana? That card's mean. Card is straight up mean. Deck's performing really well. This is, we well we we did beat an Esper hero list earlier, but Liliana is straight up mean. Doctor Coulter, you're three one right now with this, and you lost to Esper mid range. Yeah, we we beat Esper mid range earlier, but we're down a game now, unfortunately. Hmm. They kind of had everything there with like. Teferi into Teferi. Ugh. Nice, right? Vale, you went 5 0 with the five color deck. Good job. Oh, wait, was it like the five, was it five color Bolas? Or the five color Niv Mizzet deck? Five color Reborn? That deck's a lot of fun. What did I do last time? I took out like one feather or one Tajik. I took out one of something of these. Maybe an Aurelia. I think I took out an Aurelia for a Clarion. Um, question is why Baffling End over Seal Away? I guess so they don't get their creature back whenever you let it go. I don't know. I, I like Baffling End quite a bit of just being able to Baffling End their thing right away. But I don't know. Maybe Seal Away would be better. Maybe. Hey, what's up, Saffron? It's going really good. Hope you're doing well. This feather deck actually kind of feels legit that just put together. I ugh. I may lose this match though. So, <laughs> Saffron, funny story. I I had a donation to put together a Parhelion two deck, 
And I was like, man, what am I going to do with Parhelion 2? And so I put it in a Gates shell. And like, it was like the same day, or like the, it was like the day after, I didn't see your video, that uh, you had the, the mono white Carnhelion. And I was like, oh man, that was just like such a better idea with the card and everything. <laughs> I was like, uh. I was like, yeah, Saffron, Saffron crushed it there with the Parhelion deck. But yeah, I, I tried. Yeah, I put it in like the Gates shell because, you know, like you can get a lot of mana with Gates and everything, like the four color Gates. Um, <laughs> didn't work out as well. All right, so we, so we can thrash their hero. But then I, I was like, man, I wish I saw that video first. That didn't. That was perfect. All right. Ugh. You're loving the five color Nymiza deck, yeah, Saffron. That's that's a good one. Uh, we went. I went five zero with that deck the other day. Here, I'll I'll send you the YouTube video of it. Do I want to thrash this thing? I don't really like that. Like thrash would be my only. No friend of you are capable play. Of more than you assume. and not really do anything else besides Thrash. Here you go, and the, the link to the deck's in there. Oh no, I can't put, it's not letting me put links in here for some reason. I have to go to like another Twitch page. All right, hero down. Oh, that's not the real Saffron Olive? Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to go to, over to a different Twitch page. Wouldn't the other Ajani be better being two colors and all? While it is two colors, I like this Ajani, this Ajani more of bringing back the our cards that are killed. Um, and pumping up stuff like Swiftblade Vindicator and everything. Pumping up Spellbreaker with the Trample. I like what it's doing. Okay, so we're gonna have to, I guess I'm gonna use this. I wanted to see if I could wait for like a hostage taker or maybe I should still be waiting. Look how far you have come. Well, let's keep getting our damage in. I'll probably play five color Niv Mizzet tomorrow. Maybe play that in in ranked. All right, two cards left. Ooh, that's a good one. Heal. That thing can attack for a lot. Elite Guard Mage? Uh-oh. That thing has flying and can kill a Johnny. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to definitely get a counter on the Vindicator. This is not good that my Johnny's going to die. I will lend you my strength.
Uh, kind of want to attack, but I really don't. <laughs> and I, I kind of feel like they have you must succeed a tyrant scorn in hand. Failed. No. But it's certainly not helping my bluff attack turn into a real attack. Man. Another elite guard mage. Right on schedule. Yeah, they've. They're a really good anti aggro deck. <laughs> oh no, and I've drawn seven lands now. Yeah, they have, like, you know, look at this gain three, gain three, gain three, gain three, and kill something. They, they want to beat aggro, and they have done it. Congratulations. That's their goal beat aggro. They got us. All right, three and one. Update the scorecard. Yeah, the Boros must follow the law. Ugh, those Azorius. People making us follow all these laws. That first game, we were so close to winning. So close. All right, let's focus for our next match. I could have been better, better focused, especially that game one. I think I could have... Maybe done something different that game one. A few things different. Attack. Hmm. Do I want the other Legionarian first or the Domri in first? I think the Domri. If you think I'm a crazy beast. Wait till you see my mic. We won't answer the other kids. Okay. Well, now we know we're playing against. I guess I should have integrity last turn. Sorry, I'm late. Always this little Teferi. I've got it. Oh. <laughs> Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. <laughs> and this thing just kills my opponent next turn. But these also just kill my opponent next turn. This is hardly my worst defeat. So might as well get the chip, do chip damage in. We can still have lethal next turn if they just play like a Tamiyo, for example. Or a Hydrocrasis. Alright, so that should be lethal. So we... Right, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Then we have Domri fight and him for 14. All right, so this is a Bant deck with Growth Spiral, Lil Teferi, and Krasis. Hmm. I do not really like Rhythm of the Wild against Lil Teferi. I feel like we probably don't need Thrash Threat, though. 
But maybe we just play it. I mean, like, I could play Cinder Vines basically instead. It's like, do I want Cinder Vines instead of Thrash Threads? Thrash Threads pretty cool. I don't know if they have, like, more creatures. Like, this could just be, like, a Bant mid-range-ish deck with, like, you know, Grow Spiral and stuff. It could be Nexus. I guess I should just play the Cinder Vines. Yeah, I'll just play Cinder Vines and Night of Autumn. Let's just do it. So Cinder Vines, Nexus, and... Do I want to take out... I guess Feather. Yeah, I'll take out one of the Feathers. Oh, yeah, Aaron Barrett. He's a cool dude. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron's, Aaron's a good person. This this does kind of seem like an Aaron Barrett deck. I know Aaron liking... This is like that green-red vehicle deck. Also, obviously, Aaron played a lot of plays a lot of Infect and Modern and stuff, but the like standard he had like a a green red. I think it was green red, like like a green red vehicles list. There are so many meditate and prepare. This is a control deck, huh? So control deck, I'll I'll kind of slow down, play the hero. This isn't a fight. Hey, air with the sub here. I was watching Shahar last night when you played him off stream. Keep an open mind. <laughs> I was like, get him, Todd. <laughs> yeah, the first game was real close. Yeah, that was a good one. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, I think I lost that one. Thanks for that sub. Yeah, pump spell aggro. That's Barrage style. So they're both at one loyalty. I guess we just take them both out. We don't get the hero precinct one value. These creatures are sweet. Only time will tell. Trust me. Let's skip to the good part. Gotta worry about sweepers, I suppose. Maybe I don't. Hmm. Root snare. Come on. We need to move quickly. Oh, is this just the the Bant Walkers deck? This this is just the Bant Walkers deck with a bunch of settles, cleansing novas, and root snares. Is that this deck? Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. The story past <laughs> holds our future. That's this deck.
I have learned little here. No time for a break. Okay. We got different. Yeah, it's the infinite fog deck. All right, so I got a different deck than what we thought. So our sideboarding goes. Don't know how much that's going to really change my sideboarding. May have changed earlier plays here. I'm not sure. I this out the other day. You can click each creature and then click with a target, and they will all go to that target. Oh, really? All right, well, I'm not playing around sweet bows. They kill all my creatures, they kill all my creatures. We'll go to the next game. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, I can beat Nova with the deck. I have I have a lot of haste creatures and stuff in general. I'm I'm not going to this game. But All right. I don't know that really... So, yeah, this is the kind of deck I, I do want Rhythm in. Do I? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. We just probably want more haste. Yeah. Yeah, we want Rhythm in. Instead of Night of Autumn... Instead of a Johnny. No, Johnny brings stuff back. We'll take out Knight of Autumn and play Rhythm of the Wild instead. All right, let's go. That is true. Oh, yeah, Harpooner... Yeah, honestly, Harpooner is good here, too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point with Harpooner with Rhythm of the Wild. I, I forgot about that interaction there until you just said something about it. But, yeah, that's that's a wonderful interaction. Oh, can we get an untapped land? I, I kind of saw the three three mana, good mana, and then, and like, the, the hand. But, yeah, because Harpooner gains all the, the plus power with the undergrowth, and if you give it haste, it can be, a, like, a fireball of a creature. Well, this is annoying being a turn slower than I thought I was going to be. Oh, Thrash does kill walkers, doesn't it? Right, yeah, so I should just have Thrash in, too. Wow, I, I did not sideboard very well here. Yeah, Thrash would be perfect. Right, Thrash kills walkers. Inexperience with the deck. All right, well, we won't do that. We won't mess that up again. If you play this deck later on, remember to keep... Like Thrash instead of Colossus. <laughs> uh... I guess I just Feather. Yeah, Thrash is instant speed. It says it tar creature you control deals damage equal to its power to a creature or a planeswalker. So yeah, it would deal damage to a planeswalker. 
Don't worry, I got this. All right, have a good night, Matthew. I'll see you tomorrow. So I can first strike Tajik. I could just let it die and play Cinder Vines. I can Colossus it. I guess Colossusing it is the thing to do. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Get a bunch of damage in. Well, we know that we're getting damage in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Matthew, you yeah, if you need a deck tech, yeah, you just let me know. You're good. Yeah, that or a donation deck, either one, whichever one you want. I have practiced against. I have just the trick for this. All right, we'll see if we can like finish this game out with these interventions. That's the goal. Cindervine's intervention. Hone your prowess. I like where we're at. I mean, I like I like our chances. These two cinder vines in here. Dueling you will be excellent research. So we're just gonna return the root snare. Yeah, that should be game. I think we're going to 4-1 and going to face the final boss. Intervention. It's too many planeswalkers and fogs over there. You need an intervention. That's what I'm saying. All right, 4-1. Sorry, Mike Snow. Time to get the final boss playlist up in here. Ugh. This has been a fun league. Yeah, this has been a fun league.
yeah, this deck has, has worked better than, you know, better than I I was anticipating, you know, expecting. It's It's been really nice. No, I just built it from scratch. We, I did play, so in the sub battle streams that we do, I played against a subscriber that had a, a list with, I do have Tajik. Let's do it. Let's try to top deck this land and Tajik this thing. Oh, baby. Ah. All right. They're going to be losing some life here. Um. Did I not get my final bosses in chat? Where are my bosses? Anyway, so yeah, that's where I kind of had the idea. It looked pretty cool. They played Feather and and Hero Precinct 1 together. But then I just built the list from there. From just having that idea. All right, just using that there because I'm really hoping to draw land and be able to play some of these things. <laughs> Our opponent's like, oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> yeah, Feather's useful. Yeah. I mean, it's it's the card that, like, like the, it's another card that's... Let me, let me actually think about my thoughts before I start just saying words. But anyway, it's a threat that the opponent needs to answer right away, and it... You know, takes up removal, and that's that's what you want from like all your cards. You want them to be powerful enough, like where your opponent has to answer. And, and sure, like you're saying, you haven't seen the <clears throat> you haven't seen the feather last more than a couple of turns, but that's not necessarily a bad thing of saying the card isn't good. I think our opponent's pretty dead here. First time we got to really vindicate our opponent. No, maybe they're not dead. Oh no. I wasn't even anticipating that card. No, maybe they're not dead. Um. Wow. Wow. And they're suddenly not dead. I'm suddenly dead. Wow, what a what a card. Shouldn't have attacked with Tajik, I guess. Then I mean, the Tajik would have just... Yeah, no. I didn't make the wrong play. Ugh. I'm suddenly dead. Yeah. Crazy. <clears throat> Dreadhorde Arcanist? Doesn't really go with the deck. Dreadhorde Arcanist doesn't. I don't. I don't know if it recasts these things because like the the double mana cost. But it, this is not really a Dreadhorde Arcanist deck. You want a, a whole lot more spells. You want like burn spells and things like that for Dreadhorde Arcanist. I guess I need these baffling ends for their tokens and for Thief of Sanity too. What do I want to take out? Maybe take out Domri? Yeah, I'm going to take out Domri and... One Thrash? One Thrash. Bring another removal.
I could play Knight or Cinder Vines to destroy that silly enchantment, but I'm not even sure they're going to have that enchantment in their deck, honestly, here after sideboarding, even though it worked out well from there. With me being, <clears throat> with them being on the draw and me being such an aggressive deck, I could see them that card not even being in their deck right now. Thrash that's been good for us. Yeah, it's it's definitely been good. The spellbreaker. Okay, good. Not cry the carnarium. That's good. Do I? I could just cast <clears throat> threat next turn. No, we got spellbreaker. I'm just going to play the land they know about. An okay version of this deck splashing black for Dreadhorde Butcher? Of the deck that we're playing right now? we You can't have a fourth color in the deck we're playing. Understand you're in need fight again. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Crash. Strength is born of struggle. Okay. Game three. Uh, Dread, Dreadhorde Busher, okay, that's the red-black two-drop. Okay, so yeah, no, you, you don't, you wouldn't want to play that at all. You, I mean, you could go Mardu and not play green, but I think green adds, like, the Thrash Threat, the Collision Colossus are both really, really strong cards. I think the green is nice. Maybe I want Rhythm of the Wild here. Mm, maybe not. Game three. <clears throat> Definitely hoping to dodge enter the God Eternals. And Oh, we can't even cast Feather. Hoping to stop drawing lands now. No more lands. It's already five lands. No more. No more land for you. Playables.
Yeah, we could attack with Feather and just replay it. I guess that's where we're where we are at with our life. I wanted to, you know, wait and try to draw something else, but we're just not drawing anything else. Down to six. I think they have a negate. Probably not. I guess I could go the safer way. No. It's not safer. Alright, and the invasions should finish off the robotic death dog. And that will be the game of the match. And there it goes. Man, this deck was sweet. I liked this one. Naya Feather looked pretty strong. So yeah, played over that that constructed queue. We we went one and one against Esper midrange, and we beat a we beat that Demir deck, the Demir midrange. We beat a blue red burn. That wasn't the best deck, but it was just, it was a bunch of removal spells basically. It was just a deck full of removal spells, like burn spells and stuff. And we also beat Drakes. And I don't remember the fourth one. Or the fifth one that we won. Not really remembering it. But yeah, this deck was really cool. So anyway, Collision Colossus, Integrity Intervention, and Thrash Threat, all of these three spells all played like a really big role. And they were just they were just good cards, whether we had feather whether we had feather <laughs> or not even if we didn't have feather if we we're just playing like these things on tajiks and 10th district legionnaires and spellbreakers or whatever played really well uh johnny did a good job of getting back our hero precinct one and 10th district legionnaires um aurelia was awesome also oh yeah we beat the band planeswalker deck too that's right um and so yeah Naya Feather, pretty cool deck. Pretty cool deck. So if you want to play, if you've been wanting to play a Feather deck and you like Hero Precinct 1 and you just want to be playing some creatures and attacking, give this one a try. Let me know how it goes. Uh, you know, this was my first first try at the deck, so I'm not saying that, like, all of these card choices are absolutely perfect. I think out of the main deck, probably the card I, I thought did the least or I'm not as imp the card I'm the least impressed with maybe is the Domri. Maybe you don't need the Domri in here. Maybe that could be something else. Like if you want to play something in the main sideboard, of course you can you can try out different stuff in the sideboard. I was happy with the cards we had in here. There wasn't any nothing comes to mind of like cards I want to get rid of or anything. I like liked everything, and I I don't know if I would take out Domri for the next one, but that's that's like a slot that if you want to try something else. Um, I like the Tajik. I guess it wasn't. It had its times of not being so great. 
That's true, but it's just a it's a good card. Yeah, it's it's really good with Swift Blade, and I don't know, good with other stuff. It's good with haste. Just Tajik's cool. Could be maybe an unbreakable formation. Could could have heroic reinforcements. Um, those are like some other options. Like heroic reinforcements is another option. But yeah, that's Naya Feather. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and give it a try. Let me know in the comment section how it's how it's going and everything. Um, but thanks for watching. Hope you hit the like and subscribe button, and I will uh, see you for another video.